Java, except there is no history mm -hmm. of Java, or in this case, Luna, coming out on top over Boomy. There is no history between these two in official tournaments whatsoever. I don't know if uh, everyone at home caught watching it, but it was 0-0 for these two players. They have not met in official tournaments. So there really isn't any history to draw off of. This is all fresh, and it's all based on Luna being kind of the new kid on the block, having good recent placements compared to Boomy. Might be just ripping Luna up now. Boomy today is not the Boomy that we've seen the past couple months. Yeah, I missed that 0-0 because it reminded me of the Zero Friends comment, but also Zero attempts at actually being able to try and fight that first stock because Boomy dominated. If there's anybody who can oh, dodge, not sir. that. Not that. Okay. Um, I pulled into Commentator's Curse at the absolute wrong time as we get back into even here. Luna Woo! uses Hammer Insig on Taros more than most modern Taros players. Oh, I feel 100%. Like. 100%. And it's interesting because that was like, that was the vintage. Taros technology when it was it's, it's true combo you can get the KO off of it as well using it exactly like that on the edge so Luna's more like a vintage Taros player even though Taros is all of a sudden well really has been for several months now has been a mainstay definitely in 2v2s but even in 1v1s as well yeah I mean even with Delta yesterday we see we see a lot of like N6 come out but we don't see the way that Luna utilizes all these six as a full on neutral tool but speaking of using six in neutral we Boomy went for a bunch of those in the previous set, and they are working here. Let me go ahead and answer your ability to throw these out all the time with my own, and I have plenty of KO power too. Axe needs oh, coming I, through. Honestly, they are, they I expected that to KO, dude. I thought they were too. Oh, I thought it was gonna KO, man. Luna does find it. Anyway, very quickly, a lot of the, both of these characters are going to have that insane knockout potential, but you know, every time Luna makes a connection with either Hammer or Axe, it's basically a full color change on Boomy's health bar. It is so scary as a lower defense legend that you really need that KO power if you're gonna go up against a legend like Taros. I think this is a good pick for Boomy who has incredible movement, always has to be able to get in and out of his opponent's effective range. He's taking a lot of punishment here. Does have to be careful. If he gets caught with a stray Sarah on the edge in orange, he might be taken out. Sparky, they got to last stock a piece at about six Bro. minutes, and that almost ended at six if Boomy connected with that side sick on the ledge before, but Luna is the one to walk away with it. That was, they're, they're, they are all hands on deck. These hands are rated E for everybody. They are swinging so much, but it's with purpose. And it is incredible to see so far. This is an all out war going on between these two. I am absolutely loving the pressure from Boomy, but the answers from Luna as well have just been so on point. They're still going to small Brawl Haven, which like Boomy doesn't seem like that much of a map dependent player, but I am a little bit surprised because like he catches a Saren Orange here. There is a very real chance, depending on where it picks up, that he is taken out of the game because this stage is so small. I would expect maybe like a Mammoth Fortress or any other of the main flat stages, including like Demon Island or anything like that. But no, Boomy left this open. So I'm sure Luna is, is pretty happy to get here. He picked it real quick once yeah. those three stages were left open. Speed run any percent to winners finals. Like it, there, no, no time to think. It, it's, it, Especially when you're fighting up oh, against someone like Taros. It. Yeah, he made the attempt. That was an attempt in the last game, too. There hasn't been much reserved play from Boomy so far. As we see an attempt to try and catch him on the landing, you gotta send him back off stage looking for a air. No, the weapon toss pushes him off. Does not go oh, for the weapon he did not grab pick up that immediately. Weapon. That was kind of concerning. I, I don't surprised. know why he, why he didn't pick that up. Because it looked like he made the motion and that he wanted it. And then he like moved away from it thinking that he had it. And then like moved a little bit back towards it like, oh wait, I don't actually have it. So I don't really know what happened in that moment. That side stick gonna miss. He needed that to find the KO. Stuck over on the wall. Luna looking for the perk of pivot down air. Doesn't quite grab it. He is gonna lose that first stock. We are back to dead even here. About a minute 20 into this game. And Boomy decided to stay with the axe. That was one of the things we, at the very beginning of this block, we haven't seen a whole lot of Boomy historically with the axe, but if you look at the way Boomy's playing with it right now, I feel like you would've saw it just a storied history with how clean it's been so far with the Jala. Absolutely, he's not even too much of a sword player either. You look at his most uh, reported legends in tournaments, it's Petra, it's Onyx, Dallas is third most, then it's Magyar, and then Sidra is the fifth most. So third and fifth place are the only sword characters coming out here. Luna, using that hammer to get the KO, now actually has himself a really nice lead in this. I don't know if Boomy can even this up as quickly as he did the previous stock. I feel like nice lead is such a 
like a cle like like such a dangerous statement to say between yeah, these absolutely. two because we've seen so many stocks disappear around like early orange just from Luna going off stage and Boomy answering right back gets a weapon toss forces him to go towards the ledge goes and actually grabs the weapon this time Sarah at least puts him back off stage he needs to close it as he looks for a dare and just missing out on it but recovery takes it off the top. And exactly like you called it out, it, well, it was a nice lead, and then all of a sudden it's not so much of a nice lead. It is still a little bit of a lead there, as Boomy is just a little bit in the yellow. He does have weapon control here, so real possibility to even this one up quickly. Hammer comes into Luna's hands. Boomy putting a lot of space between him and Luna. So many side lights coming out. That seems like the maybe the initiator that Boomy wants to throw in. That neutral light coming out, gravity canceled because Luna was stacked on top, really reaching with that neutral sig. I don't know what he was hoping for there, Ajax. I don't know. It, it's just send the message. Oh, D Light Dare trying to find the jump, but didn't get it. I think the side lights have kind of been the way to answer anytime he sees a whiff on Luna's uh, D lights. Trying to catch the stop as a quick answer. Sarah's going to take it off the side, though. Much very similar to. So what happened in game one where Boomy had the lead most of the time, but Luna closed it out with an amazing call and getting the air. We see pretty much the same thing happen in reverse in game number two. Oh my God, this, uh, this music slowed down. Boomy over. It, dude, it is. It's truly cursed and haunting. <laughs> and I'm going to hear that in my dreams tonight as I'm trying to escape some, some monster. <laughs> Maybe some monster that looks like toast, but his like eyes are bleeding or something. <laughs> I don't know, something... Something I don't want to see when I close my eyes to at night, Toast brother. yelling at me to use the talkback <laughs> button. <laughs> As you see, stops, uh, stops there getting some damage out or stop side light. Oh, wow, Luna going for the big play oh, early on. Just not just weapon toss. Boomy trying to get the reversal on it. Almost catches him with the ground pound. Trying to look for early Sarah to catch Luna. Did, it was like, that was like 10 seconds into the fight. <laughs> and Boomy's orange. So <laughs> even though it was uh, uh, stones to the wall there very quickly out of the gate, Boomy actually caught the worst end of that. Oh, I was so afraid he was going to get caught with a side air there. Luna didn't quite have the space to maybe get in in time before Boomy was out of recovery frames. He avoids that axe down stick. Luna's hit several of those when Boomy's been in orange. Yeah, that's been such a good anti-air tool from Luna. Just in center stage, you want to try and come at me? Chill. It, oh. I, I, I thought he was ripping recovery there. We have not seen a recovery attempt out of Luna so far. At some point, he's going to go for it. Oh, Trying I to catch that was gonna be, Okay, oh. there it is. Okay. There it is. I thought that first one was going to be it, and then he just nared and then fell, and I was like, oh, no. oh, oh Luna, no. where are you going? Oh, no, baby, what is you doing? I feel like giving up a stock by accident in this just matters so much to oh, moment so many people, except for this match, because as soon as one stock is gone, they answer back immediately. Leads do not exist for long. We see see D-Light Sarah coming in from Boomy once again to even it back up. That was a great punish by him as well, because I think one of the main punish tools he's been using, we mentioned that side light, because you cover a lot of distance with that compared to like the down light. So if you're not close enough to your opponent, which it seems like Boomy wants to overspace everything from Luna when he has sword in his hand, he then punishes with a side light. Will sometimes go for a down light after, a neutral light after, or even a neutral sig, expecting Luna to be above him. So it seems like that mentality kind of drives the punishes that Boomy comes out with, but he found a beautiful D-Light side air to take away that first stock from Luna. That was a fantastic punish. It actually led to a game-changing moment where he got a stock and not just a little bit more damage. Absolutely. I mean, look. Hey, oh, Axe Desig almost taking, almost taking it off the right-hand oh, side. This weapon weapon toss. covered so much, but Boomy coming in, boxing, and then gets hit. As two analysts, the only thing I could compare this to is Tyson and Holyfield, and currently Boomy is coming back to try to bite the ear off because they just waste no time throwing hands. Yeah, they do not come back and, and just kind of sit with their iframes for very long. Oh my gosh! Boomy taking off the top with the unarmed kid. He is still behind, but he has control of the weapons here. Luna over on the left side. Neutral light coming out from the sword. Boomy using that very safe move. Doesn't get punished, but Luna does get through him over to the weapon spot on the other side. This is dangerous. These huge chunks from this axe have Boomy in the orange. Yeah, Boomy trying to answer back as good as possible, avoiding the Sig on the side, oh, trying to go for one himself, Boomy. but gets her first. But, but like this match has just been anything you could do. I could do better as we see an attempt from Boomy trying to catch him off stage, going for the stair, catching in there, keeping him in a disadvantage, getting that damage up. And that is the game because he made a mistake finally, and Luna catches him with the stair once again. Just run it back, just run it back to Brawlhaven. Just, just yep. thank you. Just That's what we're doing. No don't, questions don't change whatsoever. Anything. Let's just get this going. We're going to move into this next game. Boomy versus Luna. What an incredible set. Yeah.
Like, it, what what an amazing final game. And this is to push yourself into winner's finals. This is where the nitty gritty comes in. This is where you have to pull out all the stops to usually outplay someone, especially on defense. Usually defense is the thing that wins championships, but offense is the name of the game between these two. As we see Luna already looking for an attempt at the early stock here. So one thing, I'm looking at the stats from Boomy, man, he's taking so much punishment this game, already in the orange. He was in danger of getting hit by a recovery there, but that's the Boomy offstage confidence. He doesn't actually go back in. There is a weapon spawn on the field, but he just wants to corner guard that edge over there. Luna hits the neutral air, sends Boomy away, grabs the weapon in light, almost getting the KO. Weapon toss going a little bit high over Boomy's head. Boomy thought he could live under the stage. What a toss by Luna. That hammer covers so much space there. Boomy had to get out from under the stage. So if he stayed under, he's done. If he goes out from under, he gets hit and he's done. I feel like that was just frames off too. Like Boomy was just there. But as we've said, I don't know how many times at this point, the leads just disappear so quickly. You don't get to hold on to one. This, as, like, have we seen a single game so far where somebody has had a two stock lead or a deep in the red lead? I don't think we have. Because I, they, I don't think so. And even if they did at that moment, if the game persisted for 20 more seconds, you could see that be completely deleted yeah. because that's what's been going on every 20 seconds throughout all of these games between Boomy and Luna. Both of these players, man, they're fighting for their top three spot, the ability to go up against Snowy. Trying to get that ticket into winners finals. Oh, Currently, that's a punish. Luna is up two games to one and it's making a healthy attempt at continuing to do so. Gets the two stock up lead to the one. It's probably not gonna last too long though, because as Boomy hovers directly underneath. Now me 30 minutes ago might have said Luna has a nice lead here. But, but we know more now. We're smarter. We, we have, have grown in that time. So this is not necessarily a nice lead for Luna, even though the numbers might make you believe so. Oh, that drops. That's so unfortunate for Boomy. Does get the Sarah, though. Gets, like, offstage pressure here. Gets back on. Neutralize going to push him off. The axe is pretty much what is wow. done the work. Going to go ahead and go to the other side of the stage. Not trying to challenge that, especially after that previous weapon toss down. Boomy tried to hit that recovery, and Luna just completely avoided it. A true Ooh. axe player. Somehow was brave enough to go that deep and did not fall in the process, did not get hit in the process, and Boomy lost his final stock. Luna taking it 3-1 in what was one of the biggest scrap fests we have seen all day. And Luna got that through a few late game Good calls to take it away because it went down to last stock, last hit, each game. It could have gone either way, but Luna consistently showing. Toss. Yeah, the, actually, that's something that happened a lot from Luna, especially in that last stock, even prior to the weapon toss down. Luna.